Empelia worked in a vinyl chloride plant in the early 1970s. Around the same time, in a laboratory 30 miles away, Dr. Cesar Maltoni was conducting an industry-sponsored study to determine the effects of vinyl chloride exposure on lab animals. I got to spend some time with Dr. Maltoni, and he went out of his way to make sure I got the story straight. So were you doing this research before the chemical companies hired you to do the research and they came to you and said, okay, now we'll fund if you? If you want, Ayla, you must say to me what story you want. to. Uh, but if you stories? start, I have they to start stories? from the beginning oh. because oh. the story doesn't go anymore. It doesn't? No. They two different I'm, stories? But you were, do, were you doing this do, research you, you would be like, why I started exactly? Ah. Or not. What do you want, what story do you want to tell you? Okay. But we have to, because they are filming, I am unhappy now to leave piece of film I cannot control. I like to say to you the story, all consequence. Okay. You mean one piece, each, each yes. piece at a time. Okay. As long as you just can help me understand. Uh, uh, so you may ask to me directly, why did you start your vinyl chloride disease? And I answer why I start. Okay. When and why, why and when I started it in the big sense of and then you may stop me to say why the lesson of vinyl chloride was important. And they will tell why it was important. Okay. What message does this lesson convey? And I tell you the message that this convey. Those are four good so questions. So if you say, is this the thing? I will tell you the story. They are all there. All there are vinyl chloride. But you know, here we have the autopsy on more than 250,000 animals. So it is quite a, an arsenal of blocks. <laughs> so... All the tumors are in these boxes. Wow. In autumn of 1972, we were aware already that vinyl chloride, at least at the high dose, were producing different type of tumors. And at that time, three type of tumor in the first exposed animal, which were spragdoli rats. Tumor of ear, tumor of kidney, and very, very rare type of tumor, angiosarcoma, angiosarcoma of liver. The rats got cancerous tumors from vinyl chloride exposures as low as 250 parts per million. Meanwhile, in Italy and the U.S., it was legal for vinyl chloride workers to be exposed to as much as twice that amount. The European vinyl industry was not too happy with Dr. Maltoni's results, and they decided to keep his research secret. In 1972, the European vinyl industry agreed to share Maltoni's results with their U.S. counterparts on the condition that the Americans first sign a formal secrecy agreement swearing not to reveal the dangers of vinyl chloride exposure to anyone. <laughs> 